what's up guys it's Michael here again with uh with some with some updates I know uh I seemed a little bit discouraged in that last video um but guys I got some good stuff coming up but first things I got to get out of the way is uh, something that was made apparent to me which I didn't catch it and I still you know don't know for sure but uh but apparently I was possibly wrong about this ALS uh, squat challenge with the history of social media and things that were going on you know over the past couple years the AL you see ALS and challenge you just automatically assume you know the the ALS the disease the Lou Gehrig's disease um, <clears throat> but apparently uh, this was you know originated or or whatnot from uh, from another uh, guy in the fitness community the online fitness community as a other as some other kind of leg syndrome or whatnot so whatever that other video even if I'm wrong I'm gonna roll with it so I'm gonna roll with what I did so anyway I got I got that out of the way my possible flub up oh what else is going on we got a biker rally in hot springs this weekend so once we get out of town we may or may not even come back into town this weekend because whenever the bikes are in town, it is nuts. I mean, the traffic is just ridiculous. So, and we may not be doing much of anything this weekend, but what I'm going to be doing this weekend, you, like I've told you guys, my split starts on Saturdays. So, you know, my workout split. So, I, with the failure on the challenge they really hit me hard that I've been having you know setting all these little goals and wanting to do things and I keep on failing at them so it made me want to set some goals that I, you know that will still be a challenge to me but it's several goals that's going to you know help build that motivation back up inside of me help build that confidence back up inside of me that I can you know hit these little goals that I said so I have I looked around and make sure that you know I didn't just come up with an idea that somebody else has done and I had not seen anything like what I did. So I've got, I've got this challenge that I've put together and I'm gonna name it the MoFit Dirty Dozen Challenge. Now, the reason that I'm calling this the Dirty Dozen Challenge is because it takes 12 days to do it. Now, this works really only if you have a split similar to mine. It doesn't have to be the body part split. But uh, the split that I run is a three-day body split twice a week. So it is, I run it for three days, then I repeat it, then I rest one day. Then I run it for three days, I run it again, and then I rest. And you now you guys have seen how I do it. So what this is, is in addition to your normal daily volume, whatever muscle groups that you're working that week, like say, you know, most people go in there and do three, maybe four exercises per muscle group on their on the day of their split, which I do four exercises per muscle group. So in addition to the normal volume uh, that, you, that you do per muscle group on those days, pick one of those exercises, lighten that weight up a little bit, you know, not enough to be too easy, but you want it to be a challenge. But lighten that weight up and bust out 100 reps in as few as set it's sets as possible. Now, what's good about this challenge is you can do this challenge and everything. And the next time you want to do it, try to do it in even fewer sets or try to, you know, try to do it in fewer time. You know, it can, it can work that way. So you can improve upon, you can use this thing to improve upon certain things. But let's say, let's just go for, for instance, uh, you know, Saturday is my legs and abs day. So for each one of those muscle groups, one of the exercises that I do for the, those muscle groups, I'm gonna incorporate uh, 100 reps into it. So I've chosen Saturday to use leg press. So I'll lighten up my load of leg press and I'm gonna bust out 100 reps in as few sets as possible. And then, and then I'll go on to do the rest of my leg work. Now, whenever you do this, make sure that you bust out your 100 reps on your first exercise. Um, that way, you know, you don't go and completely fatigue yourself before jumping into the 100 reps. Uh, and then now whenever I move on to my abs, I'm gonna take, uh, I believe I did, I've got the cable crunch as my first exercise that I'm gonna bust out 100 reps. And then the next day is my uh, chest and back day. So flat dumbbell bench is going to get my my 100 reps opener and then my for my back opener, I'm gonna be doing the, uh, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a bent, uh, bent over 
uh, bent over row, I think is what I've got is what I've got uh, set to do the first, and so on and so forth. So you have 12 consecutive workout days, even though there is there the rest of it, but you have 12 consecutive workout days where you're going to be busting out, uh, <clears throat> where you're going to be busting out, uh, you know, 100 reps on each one. So an extra 200 reps of volume. Well. Give her, you know, minus the volume, you know, the minus the 30 reps or whatever per exercise that you would normally do in the volume. Let's just, for simplicity's sake, let's say you're busting out an extra 200 reps per volume on these 12 days. That's an extra 2,400 reps of volume. 2,400 reps of volume in that 12 day in that 12 day period. So like I like I said, guys, this is called the MoFit Dirty Dozen. Actually, I, I, you know, like I told you guys, I like to put stuff down on paper. That way I can look at it to make sure. And these are all like, these are like all my notes on it. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Like I said, uh, I run a three day split, two muscle groups per day, and I run it twice a week. That way I get my volume and my frequency in. Uh, over 12 consecutive sessions, each muscle group gets, uh, each muscle, over the 12 consecutive sessions each muscle group gets four different exercises for 100 reps each so you want to make it challenging and do it in this however many sets as it takes but as few as possible um, so you have total you're gonna have four exercises for 100 reps per muscle group over these 12 days right actually you see one two three four yes all right and then, uh, so that's going to be a total of 1,200, uh, 1,200, a total of, since you're running two per day, that's an extra 200 reps over the 12 days. That's going to give you your 2,400 reps of additional volume. So this is a mad amount of volume. But for you guys that don't do a lot of uh, lightweight, high rep stuff, this is a good way to, you know, kind of incorporate that. And I can tell you, just looking at this from a, from a, uh, you know, a pre- game sort of view I know the pump is gonna be off the chain for this I'm excited to do this challenge I am gonna record I, I may not do a full full workout record you know on all these days but my hundred my hundred rep exercises I'm gonna record those every single day and upload the, those for you guys to see and uh, guys just stick with me if you like this challenge uh, if you like this challenge, you know, pay attention to what I said and build it for yourself. Or maybe you want to restructure your split so you can do something like this. But I urge, I'm not going to call anybody out and tell them to do it. But I know a few guys that uh, in the online fitness community that this would be up their alley. So guys, try this out if you like, if you want to. Hit that like button down below if you if you like what I've come up with. Leave your comments down below if you, uh, let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subbed already. And guys... Go out there and get more fit than you were yesterday. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.